In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to create a WordPress website that's live on the internet in less than 15 minutes. So this is insane how far the technology has progressed. And if you're an online business owner, it's absolutely essential that you have your own website. But I know there are so many platforms out there that it can easily be overwhelming, such as Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, WordPress, and you're a little bit lost about where to actually go to create my website. Now, I've tried or looked at all the options out there that I could find, and by far, as an online business owner, I recommend you create a WordPress website. And the reason is, although those other website builders, such as Weebly or Squarespace, are easy to use, and the websites look great with very little work, you have such little control over what you actually put on the website that in the long run, you'll find it frustrating, limiting, and you're going to end up switching to WordPress anyways. So if a, a website is an important piece of your business, create it on WordPress. And luckily, there are plugins out there that make it so easy to create a page that's exactly what you want it to be on WordPress. So that's why right now I'm going to walk you through how to create a WordPress website. And to do this, we're first going to need to purchase web hosting. And you can think of web hosting as securing your place in the cloud. It's a folder where your website's gonna live 24 seven, and if someone types in the domain name for your website, that's gonna redirect them to your website, which is hosted on the cloud. But in order to secure that spot in the cloud, we have to pay a monthly fee for it. Now, luckily, it's not very expensive, and this is something where the price has gone down dramatically in recent years, which we can all benefit from. So to get started, you're going to want to go to eric.camp backslash hosting. And this is going to redirect you to my favorite web host by far, which is WPX hosting. And the reason why I ended up choosing them is because it's reasonably priced at $25 a month. It's extremely fast. So your website will load quicker than on a lot of other hosts. And most importantly, they have 24 seven live chat. Literally with a click of this button, you are instantly talking to a human. And I know you're not gonna be talking to a human most of the time on your hosting website, but if you ever run into any technical problems, it is so frustrating to try and have to figure out how to solve it on your own, that knowing that you can get help from a real human in 30 seconds will just put your mind at peace and ease. So when you're ready, you're gonna click on the Start Now button in the top right-hand corner. And here you can choose between yearly or monthly. And you can choose how you want to pay for your hosting. The advantage with paying yearly is you save $50 throughout the year. And it also is a way of committing yourself to your business. Because I know if you only pay month to month, it's easier for you to get discouraged and quit your subscription. Whereas if you pay for a year up front, you're locked yourself in. But ultimately it's up to you and what you can afford. So in this case, I'm going to select yearly, and then the plan we're looking at is business. So they have other plans here, but this is plenty for what you want. It's super fast, and it can create up to five websites. So for the majority of people watching this video, I can't imagine that you would need a professional or elite plan from the beginning. So if you're ready to continue with your business account, click on the orange Get Started button. And with this dropdown, you want to click on the location that's closest to where you live in the world. Now, don't worry, this is not too important, but since I'm living in the U.S., I'm going to click host in the U.S. But if I were to choose host in the U.K., my site speed would hardly be affected. So now we get to make a decision between whether or not we want to purchase hosting or if we also need to purchase a domain. So a domain is what people will type in to access your website. You can think of it as an address that people will use to access your website, which lives in the cloud. So you need a way of telling the person's web browser how to access your website. Right here on WPX Hosting, the domain is wpxhosting.com. So if you already own a domain on another website, say GoDaddy or Namecheap, you're gonna wanna have this box selected type in your domain name here, and then click continue. And if you don't already own a domain, then you're gonna to wanna to click on this box here, and you're gonna have the opportunity to buy one. And what you can do is type in the domain name you wanna try and see if it's available for. So let's just say slice of life. Select the extension you wanna use, 
And in most cases, if possible, choose.com. But you can also choose any other thing that makes sense for your business. And then click continue. And it'll check to see if it's available or taken. In this case, sliceoflife.com is taken. So I'm just going to try something else. Business in the Alps. And the .com is checked. So let's see what happens. This one is available. So I could buy the domain name businessinthealps.com at the price of $11 per year, which is very reasonable for a domain name. Now, one thing I want to note here is a lot of people get tripped up on choosing the perfect domain name for their business. And it's great to choose a domain name that is in alignment with what your business offers, but don't get tripped up here. Don't get stuck because the thing is you can always change your domain name in the future. And the most important thing when you're just getting started is to keep your momentum rolling. Any action you take now is going to pay huge dividends down the road. So just because you can't get your perfect domain name or the one you really want isn't available shouldn't be enough of a reason to stop you from taking action and keeping your momentum going forward. So in this case, I'm going to click on order now. And what we have here are some options for that domain. We can just leave them as they are. This is just saying we want to pay for a year for the domain and we don't want to pay for multiple years up front. And it will renew automatically after one year has passed for $11. The name servers we can leave alone and this will just leave it as it is and click on continue. Now it's going to give us one more chance to decide whether or not we want to pay yearly or monthly. And in this case, I'm going to select yearly, but for your unique situation, you want to choose the best option for you. And then I'll click on continue. And what we have here is the checkout page. And as you can see, I'm paying for a year of hosting up front, which is $250. And then I'm also purchasing that domain name for one year. But as soon as I purchase it, I now own the rights to it. And it will give me the chance to renew it one year from now. And that costs $11. So here's my total. And I can choose to pay with PayPal or select a credit card. And what you're going to want to do is fill in your billing information. And an important thing to note here is you're also going to create a password for your WPX account. And you're going to be using that password alongside with the email address that you enter here to log into your hosting account after you purchase it. And that's why it's incredibly important that you save this information in a secure place. So after you fill all this out and click on checkout, you'll be redirected to a window where you can pay with credit card or PayPal, depending on which one you chose. And then you'll have your brand new hosting account. And that's incredible. You now have one of the world's best hosts at your disposal and you can build a website on it. It's exciting stuff. So once you've created your WPX account, you're going to want to go back to their website and then click on login. And from here, you're going to want to enter the email address and password that you just entered and click login. And now to create your first live website on the internet, click on WordPress hosting on the left hand side and then manage all sites in this account. And from here, we're going to click on websites slash SSL. And you're going to see zero websites, but I have four websites on my account currently. And to add a new website, you're just going to click on add a new website in the bottom right hand corner. Now keep in mind, if you get stuck at any point during this process to access someone through a live chat, you just click this button and click chat now. And there's no fee for this. There's no limits to how often you can get support. It's 24 seven and unlimited. So you're never going to get stuck, which I just think is amazing. So click on add new website and then enter the domain name you're using for your website. So in this case, I'm going to use project self expression.com, which is the domain name that I own. And then you're going to want to click on install WordPress and install SSL certificate. Now, if you're using a domain name that you own on another website, such as GoDaddy or Namecheap, then you're going to want some help transferring that domain over to WPX hosting. And to get that help, just go into live chat and they'll provide easy instructions. It's very simple. I've done it many times and you'll figure it out pretty quickly, especially with the help of a live human. So once you've entered your domain here and check these two boxes, click on next. 
And now you want to choose the email that's going to be the admin email for your new website. Select a username to log into your website and a password. Or you could generate a password here. And just like the other information you created to log into your WPX hosting account, you're going to want to save this username and password in a secure place because this is how you're going to log into the back end of your brand new website. So once you've entered these details, click on the Create Website button, and within a couple of minutes, your website will be live. Now, I've already made this website, so I'm just going to close the window, but you would, of course, want to create the website. And then once you've created the website, if you type in the domain name, you'll be taken to a default WordPress page, which is awesome, and your website is now live on the internet for anyone around the world to access. And if you want to log into the back end of your website, just type in the domain name for it. In this case, mine is projectselfexpression.com. Then put a backslash wp-admin and click enter. And you'll be redirected to this page where you can enter the username and password that you created just a few seconds ago. And by doing this, and I usually check remember me, you'll log in to the back end of your WordPress website, which looks like this. So congratulations, you have just now created a live website that lives on the internet that anyone can access, and we can start adjusting it to make it look exactly how you want it. It's so incredible that you can do this in less than 15 minutes. This process used to take me days trying to figure out many years ago, and now with these tools, it's $25 a month, and you just get it up in a matter of minutes. It's exciting stuff and it means it's never been easier than it is now for you to sell things on the internet and to make money online. This is definitely one of the best times to be an online entrepreneur and I'm so excited for you.